okay in this video we will be looking and learning about the multimeter so here you see a multimeter and with the multimeter you get two lead, uh, the black one and the red one so normally i would like to talk about the basic functions first and when it comes to a multimeter we have a selector switch where you can select what you are measuring so the symbol over here it means that this instrument is double insulated and it's well protected and here it comes with the lights and some multimeters may have a hold button to hold the reading as well and here you see the NPN PNP transistor port so that you can measure the gain of the transistor usually a multimeter will come with three ports so a common port a typical port for measuring the current voltage and the ohms and the continuity as well as a 10 ampere port so this is the basic setup so we will discuss one by one so to start off you need to plug these uh, conductors to this multimeter so for basic measurements we plug in the red to this port where you see voltage ohms and milliamperes and also the black one to this common port we will not be using this 10 ampere port much and i would like to make a separate video to discuss about the measuring of high currents so let's start so you have a selector switch over here which you can turn and there are two main symbols when it comes to the voltage if you see in a sinusoidal symbol over here it means that you are going in the alternating range or the ac range and if you see straight line with dashes it means that you are measuring dc voltage or it's common for current as well so here you will measure dc current and uh, this multimeter doesn't allow us to measure ac current so you need to understand ac and dc symbols first okay when it comes to the measuring of voltages you see the lc voltage measurements you can take ac voltage measurements by turning this selector switch to this region so what you have to know is like if you put the selector switch to this position 200 position it means that you can measure up to 200 volts if you put it up to 600 it means that you can measure the voltage up to 600 volts so if you are not sure about what is the voltage you are going to measure it's always a good practice to start with the higher voltage range so maybe if your household electricity supply is 230 volts you have to put it into the 600 voltage range if it is something around 100 so you can uh, put it to the 200 voltage range if you are not sure always start with the bigger one that's about the ac voltage and in this side you can see the dc voltage suppose if you are measuring a small cell or a dry cell you can use the 2 volt range so that uh, the battery is usually about 1.5 volts if we are taking voltage of a lithium polymer battery maybe a lithium polymer cell it's 3.7 volts so you can use the 20 voltage range so uh, if you are not sure always start with the higher voltage uh, for ac voltages you don't have to worry about the sign change uh, or the plus or minus because it alternates between plus and minus so you can just uh, use these two probes but uh, if you are using the dc side always it's better to connect the positive to the red one and the uh, negative to the black one if it is not connected in such a manner the multimeter will be showing us that it's connected in the opposite way by giving us a negative sign in the display the hfv is the beta value of the transistor so you can test for transistors you can plug an npn or a pnp transistor to this port according to the data sheet and connect the emitter base and the collector respectively and see the gain of the transistor or the hfv value actually i'm not sure about this one much so we will skip that and here you will have the current measurements if you want to measure the dc currents you can use this range as well as you can see that we have a 10 ampere port as well as a milliampere port so if you are measuring the current in the milliampere range that means 200 milliampere 20 milliampere 2 milliampere by connecting the uh, red wire to this port if you are exceeding that uh, suppose you want to measure higher currents you use the 10 ampere port so that you have to remove this red lead and put it in this socket to measure up to 10 amperes if you are not sure about how the current works and uh, those things please don't use this because it might damage the multimeter because this milliampere range is fused and it has an internal fuse that might blow up uh, if you exceed this ranges as well as the 10 ampere uh, current measurements is unfused and it can only hold up for 10 seconds maximum so you have to be careful not to damage your multimeter so i think uh, it's better for us to talk about the measurement of current in a separate video so stay tuned for that for the moment if you know how to take the current uh, 
you can use these ranges and if you are up to something like measuring the current of a battery it's not the case because you must be very careful if you put the selector switch to one of these positions and if you connect a battery it will be a dead short circuit so be careful not to short your circuits out so if you don't know what you are dealing with please avoid these measurements so next is very useful and a handy feature which is the diode and the connectivity mode so suppose if you want to measure the forward bias voltage drop of a diode you can connect the positive to the positive side of the diode as well as the negative to the black lead so once you connect it you will see the forward, forward voltage drop on the screen this mode is very useful for testing continuity so if you want to check whether the connection is continuous you can put the selector switch to this position and check so you can see a red light as well as a B be handy to detect dry joints and whether the solder is adequately done next is the ohms range so if you are going to measure the resistance between two points you can use here you can measure the resistance up to 200 ohms and here if you put it to here you can measure up to 2 mega ohms so the accuracy or the number of decimal places will increase when we decrease the range so uh, to take accurate measurements you can always use lower ranges and if you are not sure you can put it somewhere here and if it overshoots the value you always put it to an upper range so that's how we measure here you can measure the DC voltages from milliampere range to 600 volts DC so this is about the multimeter hope you understood something if you have problems please leave us a comment thank you very much for watching